James Wesley Rawls, founder and senior editor of Survival Blog. He has been following the silver market for decades. This is what he says. The silver market is already highly manipulated, and a lot of people who hold, uh, you know, we're talking in institutional investors here that hold uh, large short positions, of course, obviously have a vested interest in suppressing the price of silver. And they've been very successful at that because the silver market is a very thin market. But one aspect of a thin market that's probably going to come back and bite the shorts is the fact that a thin market can get away with get get away from manipulators very quickly, just like we saw uh, with the nickel market a couple of weeks ago, uh, where the price of nickel, even though they were trying to manipulate it down, got away from them and it just absolutely exploded. So the sa- because it's a thin market, the same thing could happen with silver. And uh, right now, the ratio of silver to gold should be somewhere around 20 to 1. Well, anywhere above 50 to 1 is not realistic. And right now we're looking at, what, in the 80s? Uh, I think that we're going to see a correction there where gold may kind of level off, but then silver will take off. And once silver takes off to the point, because silver being the poor man's gold, once small investors start piling into silver, there'll be no way they can stop the silver market. It's going to run up to the point where we have $100 per troy ounce silver. The shorts are going to be absolutely squeezed out of the market. They're, they're, going, to, they're going to be facing huge margin calls. They're going to be wiped out. At that point, yes, we could see some government intervention. And if, uh, if history has taught us anything, is that Wage and price controls never work. They're always misapplied and they always cause pain and they basically disrupt a free market. So, I mean, there's been some discussion, I guess, vigorous discussion over the past decade or so about whether the the metals markets are manipulated. And if they are, who's actually doing it? Uh, there's been denial of it officially by like JP Morgan and Bank of America. So I know we're just doing uh, hedging on part of our clients, that sort of thing. Others have claimed, no, you're being, you're following the bidding of the, of the treasury or the central banks or whatever to, to do what they tell you to is necessary. And, and along the way being protected a by a, a CFTC that looks the other way and does not get involved uh, when there's incredibly um, concentrated actions that are taken that just defy logic, you know, a year and a half's worth of global mine supply of silver being dumped on the market in the, in the overnight hours when there's a thinly traded market that perturbs the price by dollars, which is not at all effective if that's what you wanted to do is to hedge and, and protect your price position, et cetera. Um, things like that and, and lack of, uh, prosecution. So would this be a case if, if the runaway, um, uh, price uh, because of popular demand of the physical supply on the markets caused a run-up in price that that basically threatened to financially injure those major bullion banks that have large short positions, would it be the time for the government to come to the rescue? Uh, you know, you, you've done our bidding and now we're going to come and, and make sure you don't get hurt by this. And and again, the uh, this the small guy, as we saw in the, on the nickel market, not being able to, to not the, the forces of nature not being able, allowed to take their course. It's happened before when, when the Hunt brothers tried to corner the silver market 40 years ago, the COMEX literally changed their rules overnight and stopped the run on silver. And uh, in fact, they, one of the rules they changed was they said, OK, if you've got COMEX futures contracts, those can now only be settled in dollars. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Not in silver. You can't take physical delivery of silver unless you're the Eastman Kodak country, company because you actually physically need that silver. They told everybody else, uh, you, you can't take possession, you can't take delivery of the silver when those futures contracts mature. Uh, So yes, that kind of manipulation has been done before. If the government does it, it'll be even more 
heavy handed. But again, it's a thin market. I think that um, the chances are that the the ability of the two or three hundred people who currently control the silver market to maintain that control is going to slip away. Uh, the next time we see um, the generally dumb public wake up and start saying, oh, I need to get some silver. <laughs> the silver market is incredibly small. It's a very thin market. And even if just two percent or three percent more of the population decided they wanted to put say 20 percent of their liquid wealth into silver there's not enough in silver in the world to do that uh so obviously silver is just going to just go to the moon overnight yes the comex and the lme and the other you know major markets can try to manipulate the paper silver market but they cannot stop the physical market. In fact, right now we're seeing the premiums on silver at absurd level. Uh, we're looking at $25 silver, but a nine or $10 premium to buy a US uh, American Eagle silver one ounce coin. Well, that was about a month ago. Now it's like 12 to 14. Yeah. yeah. So it, obviously the the physical market is beyond their grasp, but the manipulators can sure, certainly continue to try to, to manipulate the, the paper silver market. But once the paper market and the tangible the physical market are divorced, it'll be one of those emperor's new clothes moments where everyone realizes that, that we, we are in the midst of massive manipulation and the dollar figure that's cited in the newspapers or online for silver bears no relationship with reality whatsoever. We're going to see $50 physical silver prices long before we see $50 paper silver prices. Uh, very well, although I've noticed in the last month that the number of people willing to send me payment in silver has dropped off dramatically. I think that's because people are starting to hoard silver. But for the last uh, year and a half while I've taken silver, a huge number of people have taken advantage of the fact that I now actually literally price all of my antique guns in pre-1965 silver prices. And then I have a multiplier if people want to pay in Federal Reserve notes. Right now, that multiplier is 23.8. So you take the, the silver price, multiply by 23.8, and that gives you the dollar price if you want to write me a check or send me a postal money order. The main reason I did that well, it was really twofold. I, I did want to increase my family's stockpile of silver, but mainly I wanted to have that as a teaching tool to have people recognize that what they're carrying around in their pockets and what they have in their bank balances electronically is not real money. Their real money is in the form of silver. And I chose pre-1965 silver just because it I could have a multiplier and I wouldn't have to have some fractional thing uh, for uh, for silver rounds, for example. But I wanted that as a teaching tool to wake people up and get them thinking very seriously about what they'll do in the event of a dollar crisis, uh, because I think silver will come to the fore very quickly. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn $500,000, one million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke. And you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where do you start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well-established exchanges, but, and this is a big but, 
you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.